on in year four? It's Wednesday, the 22nd of April. And on a Wednesday, we usually answer questions about a text. So we're still focusing on that text, what we've been looking at on Monday and Tuesday, so that we really know it well. Okay, so the text is what we've read, and I've just done for you today five questions for you to answer. So you can answer these in your science books. They won't take very long for you to do. And even after that, you might even think about your own questions, what you would like to find out from the text. So let's have a look at the questions that I have written for you today. So the first question, it doesn't, it's not exactly in order of the text because the answer to this is further down towards the bottom of the text. And I've put here, it's um, a punctuation one, and it says, Max said, she'd be fine. So I've written there, how is the apostrophe used here? How is that apostrophe used? Okay, that's question one. Question two is I've put, why do you think the author has written, Max said she'd be fine, he was mistaken. What do you think that infers that he was mistaken? What do you think's happened to the seal? Number three, why do you think the seal may have been bored? So when you read that text again, have a think about the reasons. Why do you think that she was bored? Okay. Question four, why do you think she ate exactly 100 pennies? Can you think of a reason why she might have eaten 100? Why not less? And that, of course, is up to interpretation. Why do you think she did that? Number five, why do children wish on pennies they toss into the pool? So have you ever been anywhere where it might be a reason you think, oh, you can put pennies in there and you've looked in and sometimes it's a wishing well or something like that or a statue in a fountain and there's money at the bottom. So why do you think people throw money in? What is the reason for that? Okay, so they are your questions for today. So you can neatly write those in your science book, practice that beautiful cursive joined handwriting and answer those questions. And if you think of any of the questions that you would like to ask, you could pop those in as well and send them to your teachers. Okay? Okay then. Happy writing. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.